What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here with your second stimulus check update. We're going to go over the latest details of the stimulus package, the bill passing, and Nancy Pelosi under pressure, along with some new breaking information regarding Joe Biden and the vaccine, and uh, a lot of details to go over here, including the stimulus package passing tonight. The latest details on that in this video. Don't forget to give this video a like. And also, my wife and I started a second YouTube channel called The Daily Dirt, where at first we're going to be covering some of the stimulus check news because there's just so much new information coming out by the hour that, uh, yeah, we're going to be publishing some videos on the stimulus checks in there. And then from there, we'll be having some interesting videos on The Daily Dirt for you guys. So I will link that down below in the first comments and in the description for you. And at the end of this video, I'll link you to the first video that we just published going over a bunch of details of what is in the stimulus check bill on the Daily Dirt channel. So I will link that to you at the end of this video. Okay, first up, as you can see here on this video and the headline, Joe Biden has received the first dose of the virus vaccine, the Pfizer vaccine publicly, as you can see here. Uh, just about to happen here. So he did film it publicly, and um, I know there's a lot of conspiracy theorists out there, but uh, we have seen a lot of people, including the Vice President Mike Pence, White House members, Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House from the Democrats, and Mitch McConnell all take the vaccine. So there's been a new recent report that over 500,000 people, this was actually like a day ago, so there's probably close to a million people now that have already taken the vaccine. And I've personally only seen a few zombies walking around. <laughs> Let me know how many uh, you've seen. There's also an interesting brand new breaking story on su subpoenas are necessary. House watchdogs detail extensive meddling with the CVC virus reports. New documents show political appointees sought to influence at least 13 reports as they ignored warnings from officials. Uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens with that and if we've seen falsified reports on the amount of virus cases or deaths or anything along those lines. Let's hope that it's accurate information. Also, the U.S. Capitol removed the Robert E. Lee statue, which is uh, obviously from the South, Robert E. Lee from the Civil War. The statue has stood with America's first president, George Washington, as the state of Virginia's contribution to the National Statutory Hall Collection and has been at the Capitol for more than 100 years. Virginia Governor Ralph Northam, a Democrat, announced on Monday the state will seek to have it replaced with a statue of civil rights icon Barbara Johns. Let me know your thoughts on that. Do you think it should be removed? Because obviously the, uh, well, you know the whole... Uh, I don't even know if I could say that word on YouTube, <laughs> but let me know if you think it should be removed or you think if it's part of our heritage and, you know, it was 100 years ago. Let me know your thoughts on it. Next, we're going to jump into the second stimulus package. The Problem Solvers Caucus gave an interview. Let's hear their opening statement on what they're saying regarding the next stimulus package and the next stimulus check. The Problem Solvers Caucus uh, to celebrate. Uh, what a great day. Uh, this uh, uh, day has been a long time coming. Uh, essentially close to nine months. And um, I, I say that because today we are delivering a victory uh, for the American people because of the members that are standing behi behind us. Uh, these Problem Solvers Caucus members, 50 strong, equally divided, Democrat and Republicans, have come, to de come together as proud Republicans, proud Democrats, but first and foremost, as proud Americans. And over those months, we had passionate disagreements, we had passionate debates as to what the American people uh, needed in regards to COVID-19 relief. And what you see today uh, is the results of that hard work. And I couldn't be prouder uh, to be here today with each and every one of these members. Uh, to our Tiger team uh, in particular, uh, that was the leaders on each side. Uh, we had folks uh, really stepping up uh, each and every day uh, to get this delivered. And I will tell you, I couldn't have a better partner on the Democratic side uh, who co-chairs this effort and Josh Gottheimer, um, who is my best friend in Congress. Uh, don't hold that against him. And uh, who has led... That goes my seat. <laughs> yeah, goes his seat. But, uh, um, you know, who really, uh, who, who really has uh, uh, led uh, our efforts uh, in a way on the other side of the aisle uh, in a way that I so appreciate, uh, where we can actually become friends 
we can actually trust each other, we can listen to each other, and now deliver $900 billion worth of economic relief to the American people. So as you can see, lots of people are happy about this package, which has been approved by both the Republican and the Democratic side, but still needs to be officially voted on in the House and Senate as of the time of filming this, which is just shortly before the video goes live. You know, we have to film it and then we have to edit it. And my wife edits all of our videos and we have to upload it to YouTube and then it has to process. So it takes a little bit of time, like an hour or so. Um, to film these videos and kind of get them all uploaded. Uh, they have not voted on this yet in the House or the Senate, but uh, Nancy Pelosi is not taking as good a news as other people are right now. In fact, Nancy Pelosi is under criticism yet again as she calls these $600 stimulus checks that are in this package and $600 for children ages 17 and uh, under 17, she calls these $600 stimulus checks significant, but previously said that the $1,000 tax cut bonus were crumbs in 2018. Crash the virus! Yeah. Nancy Pelosi said previously, in terms of the bonus that corporate America received versus the crumbs that they're giving to workers to kind of put the schmooze on, it's so pathetic. She said in this in a co uh, press conference year, three years ago, she says, I think it's insignificant. Now, in fairness, I think the Democrats especially think that there is going to be more stimulus packages passed in January and February. And we've actually kind of heard that from the Republican side, too, with Senator Josh Hawley leading the charge and saying that there needs to be another stimulus check in the January package of $600 to $1,200 stimulus checks. We're also going to see money for state and local cities, more funding for uh, local governments, and liability protections that the Republicans want. We're seeing support from Republicans, although, for this also from Josh Hawley, several Republicans, including Mitch McConnell, who says, who's the Senate Majority Leader for now, if they win at least one of those Georgia runoff seats in the Senate, he will be able to retain his majority position. But right now, both Democrats are leading those races in the early polls. But Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has also said that he knows they're going to have to pass more stimulus packages for the new administration next month. But don't be fooled. Mitch McConnell will be asking for significant concessions in there, such as liability protections in these new packages coming out in January. Congress did release the bill for this stimulus package and the government shutdown, which is actually 5,593 pages, and they're expected to read through all this and actually vote on it uh, here tonight. This is a significant bill. I mean, can you imagine reading through 5,593 pages in the span of just a few hours to actually vote on a bill and understand everything that's in there? So what do we expect going forward? The House and the Senate are expected to vote on this bill tonight. We're expecting the House to vote on this bill first, pass it in the House, and then send it over to the Senate literally within hours as the House has already scheduled this bill. They've moved it from their congressional committee onto the House floor, of which they're doing a one-hour debate, and then they're going to be voting on it in the House. So we are upon the voting here. I will keep you updated. Briefly, let me show you another state and city that's passing more stimulus and rent assistance right now. Polk County, Florida has just received an additional $2.8 million in CARES Act fund and has reopened their rent assistance and mortgage assistance program in Polk County, Florida. The county will begin accepting online applications for rent and mortgage assistance at 8 a.m. on December 29th to cover up to six months of payment or up to $5,000 in rental assistance. I will keep you updated with more states and cities that are passing rent assistance along with the breaking updates regarding the stimulus package passing and then how to claim the different buckets of money from this stimulus package that will be passing. There's different buckets of money, rent assistance, food assistance, um, PPP, EIDL grants, all sorts of different things. When this bill passes, I will be walking you guys through. So make sure you're subscribed.
And you can click this bottom video here to go to my other new channel, The Daily Dirt. Subscribe there. This video goes over a bunch of details in this bill that I just published this video a few hours ago. So click this video to watch that next. Go to our new channel, subscribe, and get all the details of the new package. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.